So let me teach you 10 different tricks on your Samsung Galaxy phone. Today I will be including my flip phone, okay? So if you are considered using a flip phone, there is a few reasons why you should use a flip phone as well too. So I'm gonna teach you some tricks inside this flip phone as well that will be all included in this 10 different tricks on your Samsung Galaxy phone. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. As you know, this channel is all about good information about Samsung Galaxy phone. And then sooner or later, I will start using an iPhone as well and I'm gonna teach you guys about iPhone as well. So let's get started. What is a brand new features on the Samsung Galaxy phone and some old feature as well too. So let's get started. So the first thing is I'm going to teach you how to get this first and I'm going to teach you the trick on this one, the brand new features. So this is actually my Google search. I can just go on here and I can search anything I want. I go on here, it will show me all the sports, whatever I need. I go on here, there's a buy included and this is a Google Lens all right here. So now I'm gonna teach you how to bring this out first. Okay, so let's just say I'm gonna go on here and then go to the widget and then you go to search Google and then once you search your Google right here and then now you can see there's a bar. You can actually drag this bar, whatever you want. So I'm gonna just delete this because I don't need uh, two of them. So now let's just say you did this and then you go to the setting and now you can change whatever the color you want. So if you can see it, my background is actually purple. I want to match with purple. So I just go straight to purple, light purple, light, uh, you know, contrast, right? Light, dark, whatever you want. Okay. So you can do whatever the purple you want. Transparency right there, or you want to make it more transparent, you can do like that. And then that's it. At the bottom here, you can do your shortcuts. You can see right there, if you don't like sports, if you say, I always search songs, let's just say there's a song in the restaurant, you want to search it right away, you can go right there, and then now you can do your songs. Very, very simple. Now, if you go back outside, now this is, it looks like that. Tap like this, it will start reading the song. Super simple, easy, just with one tap. You don't have to go to Spotify and then go to search songs or Susan, you don't have to do that. One click and then that's it. Very, very simple. This is the first trick. The second tricks I would like to show you is, it's actually pretty, pretty important. Sometimes, let's just say for me, it's, sometimes it's very important. You will see this is a Google search, I search MLP, you can see that, right? And you can see there's a lot of blue, blue words. Let's just say I want to say New York, New York, United States. I can hold this, drag it out, okay? Drag this out and let it go. And then now they will ask you, you want to go to the Samsung Notes or you want to go to Samsung Internet. So I just say Samsung Internet. You can see it will bring me to New York without interrupting this passage right here. Pretty cool, huh? So anytime when you see something, okay, anytime when you see something, let's say Fuji film, sure. Let's just drag this out. And then I want to replace this, Fuji film. Pretty cool, huh? It doesn't interrupt. This is the second features you want to know, you want to start using this. This is a very useful features without interrupting the first passage, the first website. So the third features, you, you might know about this already. Let's just say you're gonna go straight to image. <clears throat> you can see there's a lot of image, right? Aaron Judge, right? Baseball, there's, it's pretty cool, right? And I would like to say, I want to save this as in like, a, a stickers. So on the side right here, there's like this thing called AI select. Press the AI select, you will see this like AI stuff. You tap on whatever you want, okay? Let's just say I want this here. And I can actually save this uh, image if I want to, or I can actually pull the image out. So I can show you right now close up. So once you select the image, you can see that, you can hold the guy. And now you can see it actually pull the guy out from the background. Now you can actually download as in just the player of that, or you can actually stay in the stickers. When you press this, you can see it will ask you. And then I press done, 
and now that become my stickers and then now let's just say you go back in just your keyboard okay and then you go to right there and now you can see your stickers will be included this player right now and then now you just press send and then this is your sticker so you can do any sticker you want with for free you don't have to do anything else number four did you know this flip phone is not a normal flip phone in here there is a front camera and there's a rear camera and everybody should know that the front camera always sucks it's never good okay so if you want to do a selfie the fastest way is you know close your phone and then they will use a very simple uh, quality and then you can start using your rear camera for your selfie just like that okay does it make sense now you are actually using a rear camera quality to do a picture however if you want to do a little bit more let's just say i want to do a portrait mode but i'm using the rear okay so i'm going to use the rear lens because i love using rear lens because it's higher quality but at the same time i want to do a selfie as well too on the flip phone there's a this button right there the first button when you press that you can see right now the front camera already the front screen already show what i'm sh showing so if this is a portrait mode it will stay on the portrait mode and now i can just go like this and then that's it okay i can take a picture with my palm and then very very simple this one right here is so important and a lot of people didn't know flip phone has this features and this one here you can do whatever you want you can do a night mode you can do all these little features and then when you press that button there everything will show at the front screen with the rear lens quality the feature is did you know that you can actually replace a lot of apps right here so on the front screen you can actually do something like this okay you can put so many different apps and let's just say if you run a battery you can use this front screen whatever you want you can actually start watching youtube you can do whatever you want okay and then it will save you battery pretty pretty cool okay so this is a way to actually like you know do save it if you want to save your battery just do it like that and how do i do that is if you go on your good lock and then uh, there's a features inside and actually help you to do that you go on here and then you say i love foldable and everything here is all about the foldable so launcher widget when you go on here, you can place whatever you want on here, okay? Once you replace that, you close your phone, and then when you go on the front page, now you can do, you can play whatever you want, you can do whatever you want right here. Very simple and easy and very convenient when you run a battery. If you're a sports fan, I'm not gonna tell you too much, but I would highly suggest you to download this app. If you are a sports fan, okay? I'm gonna give you this link. You can pause it, you can do whatever you want, but you might want to download this if you are a truly sports fan. This is another features. So have you ever done this? You go to the reason button and you accidentally press close all. And then when you go back, it's like, oops, there's something that is super important, but you accidentally press close all. There is some app out there for you that you want to keep it open, right? Even you press close all, it should keep it open. Did you know that if you just go on the button right there and, and then you can say keep open. When you press keep open, you can see there's a lock right there. Once you press the lock right there, let's just say if I press close all, it doesn't matter. It will still stay there okay very very easy simple and super super useful if you want to do that okay so make sure that if you're running of something let's just say this is right now i'm running something and you don't want this to close off or if you're on the chat live chat with some company you can actually just keep this open in case you accidentally press close all and then you left the chat you don't want to do that so make sure you 
use the keep open. Next feature is it's actually protecting your privacy. So let's just say you have uh, pictures, okay? Let's just say you have a picture right there and you want to send to someone. But you know what? Even though they're my friend and I want to see if I, I want to protect my privacy, I want to protect, you know, I don't want them to download and post it somewhere else. I want to protect my privacy. Did you know that every single time when you do the share, and then when you do the quick share, at the top right there, before you press anything, at the top right there, there's a, this thing called turn on private share. When you turn on your private share, okay, let's just say go on private share, and you can see there will be a time right there, set expirations. So you can set it to one hour, you can set it to two hours, one minute, whatsoever. What this do is, this person here that received your picture have only one hour to receive. Even though they received the picture, there will be a watermark. And that watermark prevent them to download or not download. So I'm gonna show you something pretty cool. So let's just say I want to download to right here, the flip five. Okay, I'm gonna send it right here. And then I can see everything. When did they open the pictures? So now you can see there is a picture right there. And now when I open, it's actually not inside the gallery. And if you look closely, there's actually this watermark right there. You cannot download this. You cannot do screenshot if I want to. So it doesn't allow me to do a screenshot. You cannot even save this picture. Yes, maybe you can do like this and take a picture of this picture. And then right here, you can see the history of the picture that you sent. You click on there, you, when you go in there, let's just say this is the picture you sent, right? Okay, I'm gonna go right here, press that. And then you go to the three dot at the top, you go to the detail, you can actually see what did they do. Send, receive, open, Okay, let's just say I close this now. Reopen again. Okay, I open this. And maybe there's a detail already telling me that at 11.41, I opened this with my set flip five. And then now let's just say, you know what? I want to delete this right now. I don't want them to do anything. Change the expiry date. And then you can change right away, whatever you want. Okay, so this is the way to protect you when you have a very important pictures but you don't want them to post them, maybe you don't trust them and stuff, then you might want to do it this way. So this next trick here, I'm gonna show you very, very surprising because you might not know about this. So this is WhatsApp. Everybody use WhatsApp every single day. It doesn't matter if you're in the States, in Canada, you're gonna use this every single day. I'm gonna show you something very, very, important and a lot of people do not know about this so i'm gonna go into my file doesn't matter if you're using iphone or not i'm gonna go right into my internal storage i'm gonna type whatsapp okay so i'm gonna type whatsapp so you can see there's whatsapp right here dot com whatsapp keep going inside go to the media and then go to image or video okay image or video maybe even documents too okay so now we're going to go to image and we're going to press send every time when you send something remember every time when you send something on whatsapp they will actually keep your storage inside the phone and a lot of people didn't know about this especially iphone users because they do not have this folder inside their phone so I can show you just like this, it occupy maybe 441 megabyte. I don't send that much because I have my other way to send things or pictures, but just like that, it's already 441 megabyte. Sometimes I see my client, they actually occupy a lot of space. So this is super important that you might want to delete this you know this part because there is a lot of duplicate folders files because you send one picture that's one picture if you send the same picture to another person that's another picture duplicate already so if you go inside there's a lot of duplicate pictures inside it's because we send two times 
with the same image okay so that's why you want to take a look at this and now at the bottom here this is when you receive the pictures okay these are the receiving pictures okay that's why it's still a lot and just like this just this folder i can show you image and then i press detail it's already occupied 783 uh, megabytes. So 300 megabytes is received, 400 megabytes is sent. So what is the best way to send pictures? The best way to send pictures is, is actually using this. If you want to send the same quality pictures, let's say my image is one megabyte or maybe like five megabyte, and you want to send the same megabyte to, the, to your friend, you can actually go to the clip Go to the document and then now you can press image you can select whatever you want whatever the image the quality is it's going to stay the same and now it will show you this image the original quality is what 575 kb it's going to be the same quality and it end up like this now this will not save as um, a file inside your folder the second way is, I will tell you, this is the best way to send pictures, is, let's just say I send these pictures to my friend. You can actually do like this, okay? You can actually press share, quick share, copy the link, and then that's it. Copy the URL, and then now you go back inside, and then that's it. And that's the best way to send pictures or videos within the Samsung Cloud. And your friend just download off the Samsung Cloud and that's it. Super easy and simple and will not occupy any space. And the very last thing I would like to show you is this bar here. A lot of people still think, why don't I use the iPhone style? The, just a swipe, just a swipe, just a swipe. It's because that I would like to put my toggle right down here. This is my camera. I think you've seen it a lot of time. I go back here, this is my gallery, right? It's so simple and easy. And then when I want to do my split screen, I can go like this, okay, go like this. And then I can do my split screen just like that. If I have a, the line, just like iPhone, I cannot do all these features. But here, you can do that. And I'm gonna show you how to do this again. Very, very simple. I think I touched this like maybe like three times already. You go to good luck. And then you want to go to the nav star, right there, okay, nav star. And then now you can actually do whatever you want here. You go to new, button layout, add button. You can do whatever you want. You can put two buttons at the same time. If you don't want it, take it out, okay. You want internet, you want screen capture, whatever you want. And now your toggle bar will be like this, right? So when I just say, this is for example, you press done, you press save. Now you just highlight whatever you just want. So I'd say this one. And now you can see I have internet and the screen capture, okay, screenshot. This is my internet, this is my screenshot. Very simple, easy, right? So this is what I supposed to do for my toggle bar. That's why I want to stay like this. It's so easy, simple, and it saved me a lot of time. I hope this video helps you. Please subscribe my channel and share this video and I will see you next time. Bye bye. Peace out.